Orthopascal True Lot. Orthopascal True Lot, born 13 August 1943, was the provisional president of Haiti for 11 months in 1990 and 1991. She was the first woman in Haitian history to hold that office and the first female president of African descent in the Americas. Childhood Eartha Pascal Trulot was born on Aug 13, 1943, in the well-to-do suburb of Peschenville, in the cool hills above the crowded capital. Her father, Thimbles, was an iron worker and died when she was young. Her mother Louise Nie du Mornay was a seamstress and embroiderer. Pascal Trulot was the ninth of ten children. When she was ten years old, she and one of her brothers went to the Lycee Francois du Villier and was mentored by her future husband, Ernst Trulot, who was twenty one years her senior. University, university. When she started university, she wanted to pursue a career in science but she met her mentor who convinced her to pursue it in law and later in politics. In 1971, she received her law degree from the École de Droit des Ganaïves in Port-au-Prince, becoming the country's first woman lawyer. Career, Rur. Eartha Pascal Trulot was a judge in many federal courts during the years 1975 to 1988 before she finally became the first woman justice in the Supreme Court of Haiti. Mrs. Pascal Trulot became a lower court judge in 1980 during the Duvalier dictatorship. Her husband served as counsel to the National Bank, from which the dictators are said to have obtained a fortune, although they were not supporters of the Duvaliers. While serving as Chief Justice, she became the country's provisional president on March 13, 1990, and was made responsible to organize a general election. It was, to her credit, that she could bring about violence-free elections, which brought Jean Bertrand Aristide to the post of president with a 67% win. Between 1975 and 1988, she held various positions as a judge in the Haitian federal courts until she became the first woman justice of the Supreme Court of Haiti. Away from the public eye, Eartha Pascal, Trulot had a committee which helped in running the affairs of the country and also the elections. She also got the support of the army. After the victory of Jean Bertrand Aristide, she was arrested and charged for the coup. It has never been proved that Eartha Pascal Trulot was in fact involved in the coup. Due to the U.S. intervention, she was released in a day. She then quit her role in active politics and left Haiti. Eartha Pascal Trulot is back in Haiti but away from the public eye. She has immersed herself into the work of compiling the history of Haiti. Mrs. Pascal Trulot's primary task as provisional president was to steer Haiti toward early elections in coordination with a 19-member council of state that had been given veto power over her. She was in charge of managing the council and trying to avoid outright combat, and she was also expected to act and complete the task of her role and serve the people. Mrs. Pascal Trulot spent her first day as president today working in very big, three-story yellow house, studying a list of more than 40 names for cabinet posts. She also drew up communication announcing the reopening of schools, which had closed more than a week earlier because of protests against loot. General Prosper Avril, Haiti's most recent military ruler. Trulot steered Haiti through its first major test from a dictatorship to a new democracy with free democratic elections. Eartha Pascal Trulot became a great role model for Haitian girls and women. According to the article El Union Suite, more than 20 years after Pascal Trulot brave leadership, personal life. Eartha Pascal Trulot was the first Haitian woman president. She became the first provisional woman president. She was a lawyer writer, teacher, and Supreme Court Justice. This is a very intelligent woman, a very strong personality, a person that cannot be manipulated, said Carl August, who worked with her on a commission to revise Haiti's civil and penal codes after the collapse of the previous dictator, Dr. Duvalier, four years ago. She was very different from the other elected presidents because she was strong and had the determination to not bow down to anyone. She is not going to be a puppet, a Western diplomat said.
Mrs. Pascal Trulot's brother Alex was paralyzed from the waist down by a bullet from one of the Duvalier soldiers. Another brother, André, was arrested and threatened with execution. In 1986, Minister of Justice Francois Lacouture appointed Mrs. Pascal Trulot to the Supreme Court. She was the first woman to serve on the court. Mr. Latourdu said that he knew she was one of the most outstanding women lawyers in Haiti. Mrs. Pascal Trulot was a very intelligent woman. She exceeded the expectations the people had of her and used her confidence to rule in the palace. She had the determination to rebuild Haiti after the reign of the Duvaliers were over. She reopened schools because she believed that education was the most important tool for every student. One of the major forces in shaping her life was a man more than 20 years her senior, Ernst Trulot, a journalist, lawyer, and teacher. She met Mr. Trulot when she was a teenage girl in one of his social classes, and due to her intelligence, he encouraged her to go to law school. As president of the Bar Association, he watched her being sworn in at the Palace of Justice in 1971 and swooned. Less than four months later, they were married. He later died of a stroke three years ago. Mrs. Pascal Trulot now lives with their 15-year-old daughter, Yantha.